Trees are much more adapted to their environment than we give them credit for. The ability to alter themselves in response to physical forces is called thigmomorphogenesis. Now this tree here, this beech, is showing an example of it. The main trunk here is clearly spiralling, it's twisting. And that twist is a response to the wind, which means that because it's twisted, it's much more able to flex. This gives the phenomenon when the wood is cut, what's called spiral grain. Trees growing within the wood of the same species are not showing this, so they are responding to the forces of the wind. We also tend to find that the trees on the edge of a wood tend to have thicker trunks, again to resist the forces of the wind. And if their roots are observed, the roots will show greater strengthening in line with the direction of the greatest forces of the wind towards them. Also, trees growing on the edge of a wood tend to have smaller leaves. That's to reduce, the, to reduce the drag upon them. And the typical sloping edge to woods is because those trees running around the border don't grow to such a great height. Again, an effect of the wind. Another thigmomorphogenic response of trees is that to stresses and strains placed upon them after injury. So in this tree, there's been a, a break in the bark. The healing response is most rapid because the physical stresses upon the tree when the wind blows it follow around the edges of the wound. And that stimulates the production of the callus growth, that is the new repair material, more rapidly than elsewhere. So in trees, where there are stresses and forces, that's where the wounds heal most quickly. Usually that's on the trunk.